Hi there, how you doing? My name is Robert Renman, and welcome to the first lesson in a series of five lessons where I will be talking about stretching the blues. And what I mean by that is I'm going to show you how you can improvise using the minor pentatonic scale, but we're going to add one note to that scale for each of these five lessons. So here is what I have for a backing track for you. It's centered around a D7 chord. So the, the first thing when it comes to uh, improvising and playing lead guitar over a, a chord like that, is just staying on that D7. I mean, most people would play the D minor pentatonic. And here is the box one that I'm sure you already know. Right? Mm -hmm. That's our starting point. The reason I call this uh, series of lessons stretching the blues is I'm, I like to kind of funkify the blues and stretch out a bit and just try to come up with something a little bit original. That's just my style. So what I often do is I, I take a concept like the, the minor pentatonic scale and I stretch beyond it a little bit. I add a note here and I add, and I add a note there to make it sound hipper. So what we're going to do here is to add the major third because uh, that note is really cool to use when you're playing over a, um, a seven chord like this. The cool thing is that you can use both the minor third and the major third. If we take this box one, D minor pentatonic scale, and play it from here, if we look at these notes as intervals, we just give them a number. This is the root note, the one. This is the minor seventh note. This is the five. This is the four. And this is the minor third. Now the major third is in between the minor third and the four. Right there. And that is in itself a really cool concept because see what happens when you go from the minor third to the fourth you get right a, a little chromatic move and that means you can do a lot more now suddenly so let me show you some examples see how I added in there See how it kind of sounds funky, right? It's a cool hip note that you can use anytime you play it over a dominant seven chord. So let me show you a complete lick that I think works really well. I'm gonna break it down for you in detail. This is the lick. So let me break the lick into two parts to make it easier to explain. The first part sounds like this. So I'm starting on the B string on the 10th fret. I pick the first note and do hammer on up to the 13th fret. Then I'm switching to the E string and, and I'm picking the note on the 10th fret and the 15th fret. And then I do a pull off from the 15th fret back down to the 10th fret. So that sounds like this. Then I go up to the 13th fret with my ring finger and the 14th fret with my pinky and do a pull off from the 14th fret back down to the 10th fret. So that first part then sounds like this.
All right? And the second part sounds like this. So I'm now on the B string. I'm playing with my ring finger on the 13th fret and do a pull off down to the 10th fret. Switching to G string and I do a pull off from the 12th fret down to the 11th and then hammer on back up to the 12th fret. And then 13th fret B string again. Back to 12th fret G string. And then up to the 10th fret on the B string. And after that, I play on the 10th fret on the G string, but I'm using my same finger there, the index finger, and sort of catch it. And then do a little bit of a bend, because now I'm on that minor third, but I'm bending it up to that new note, the major third. And then ending the lake with, which is just the D string. 12th fret and up to the G string on the 10th fret. Right? So we have the whole thing now. You know, that sounds so cool with that major third in there. Because it's right here when I do this part. Right? And then here comes back on the minor third, but I'm bending it up to the major third. You can then practice finding that major third anywhere you know the minor pentatonic scale. Find that minor third and add the major third in between. And uh, yeah, enjoy that. So here's the lake one more time. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another cool lesson coming about stretching the blues.